What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here, back with a weekend adventure in video game hunting. Leaving this lame ass garage sale I'm in the ritzy part of Meriden, and they ain't got shit. Let's hope we have some luck today. Let's cross our fingers. Like, if we hunt or pick, and then at 3.30 we go full pads and then we start hitting. Come on, little bit Do you have any older video games or just the Xbox 360s? No, we have video games uh, for the 360. Which ones are you looking for? Do you just have 360 stuff? Yeah. Okay. So that's what you're looking for? No, I was looking for like older stuff like Nintendo, uh, Sega, PlayStation, stuff like that. Oh, I have a Nintendo 64, but I don't have it here. It's oh, okay. one with a lot of games. Oh, yeah? Would you be interested in selling it? It's because I don't have it with me, yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's out of state right. oh, because okay. I have another house. But okay. I can't. I can't promise you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fun fact about this next sale: it's actually run by the sister of the lady from the previous yeah. sale. We found out later. Okay. Must have been unlikely. Yeah. No. no shit, I didn't even see this before. Tyke. Nope, I always fuck up the name. I always want to call it Taito Drum Master, but it's Taiko Drum Master. I think for the rest of the video I do fuck up the name now that I think about it. I see these all the time at conventions, have never played it myself.
finally we make it over to the flea market. How much are the games? Uh, 15 for the Diddy Kong and then 10 for the Tony Hawk one. Couldn't ask him. I mean, I'll take 20 for the two of them. I had one of these My Buddy dolls when I was a kid and it used to scare the shit out of me. Despite the condition on this Voltron, just because it was an item I used to have as a kid, I was intrigued. Fortunately, the plastic's a little bit broken right there. And I'm waiting for this guy to get a price. Let's see what he says. All right, guys, let's take a look at what I got at the garage sales. But first, we're back to hitting up Game Exchange on Friday nights. They had quite a few things there. Boogerman was not complete. Didn't pick that up for 15. Didn't know anything about this game, and I never heard about it before. Never heard anybody pick it up. It's worth about 15 to 20 I believe, and I paid 8 for it. It's complete in decent shape. Wiz and Liz. Catch them if you can. Join Wiz and Liz, those crazy wizards in their frantic race to rescue their wayward wabbits. Let me know if you know anything about this one. It looks pretty cool. Decided to pick it up. They actually clued me in on some other games they're going to be having coming up in a few days. Because they have to wait 10 days before they can sell something after it's been traded in. And they have a Wild Guns in the box with all the inserts just no manual that they're going to be selling for 85 honestly i'm not going to buy it because wild guns isn't one of those games that i ever heard about before i started collecting recently in the last like five years four or five years how long have i been on youtube i don't even remember but i have no nostalgia for it so i'm not gonna shell out 85 dollars even if it's worth that and more but it is what it is at the garage sales, I'll be honest, we didn't hit them that hard. It was supposed to rain at some point on Saturday, so there was that cloud looming over us, and it never did. It never did, but we only hit, like, maybe 15 sales at most, which I know a lot of people are just like, oh my god, only 15 sales. Like, CJR hits hundreds, and you know, all these other people hit hundreds. It's not like that in Connecticut. It really isn't. I'm determined that it can't be like that unless there's a community sale. Uh, the first thing I found was actually something really cool. I didn't know that they actually had a United States or, you know, a Region 1 version of this. But I got Taito Drum Master. And I always see this game being played at conventions, especially Kineticon. People are way into this game. It's a rhythm game. Play on the drums. Unfortunately, it is missing one of the drumsticks. And that's like one of those things where it's just like, where the fuck am I going to find that? You know? But I paid. It worked its way out to $11 because something Alicia wanted from that sale we bundled together. And this was originally 10 Hers was... It's math. And she only had $2 on her. So I ended up paying the extra dollar for her thing. So the way I look at it, I paid $11 for that. It's worth about 10 from what I've seen if it's complete and it's not so it's whatever but it looks really cool and technically you could just use whatever the fuck as a drumstick too uh, aside from that games garage sales there weren't any there weren't any and I didn't have access to the internet because we we're risking going over our data limit so these two games I picked up at a garage sale for a dollar each I wasn't able to look up. One of them I know. I just probably have to get it resurfaced. It's Greatest Hits Edition of Crash 2, Cortex Strikes, Strikes Back. Case is all jacked up. The disc is honestly, you know it's bad if you could actually notice it in a video. You can see all the scratches on there. But for a dollar, I'll take the risk. I'll get it resurfaced, see if it works, and maybe make a little bit of my money back. If not, it's whatever. Usually, I feel like Game Exchange doesn't charge me for the resurface if the disc doesn't work afterwards. 
And this other game, I picked it up, didn't have access to the internet, haggled them down to a dollar. It's a horse game. Horse games, you never know. So I got Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships. <laughs> go, baby, go. I noticed it was made by Bethesda. It was in good shape. It was complete. I figured if it happened to be worth something, I didn't want it to be something that people were just like, oh, Corey, you were caught slipping on it. But I decided to pick that up. Now, from what you guys have seen, that's it. This last encounter was an offer up deal. And I ended up not filming it because, like I said, the data was off on my phone. And at the time of me meeting up with this guy, I was like trying to message him on offer up to be like, hey, I'm outside. And bam, he was right there. So I didn't have time. But for $15, I got this Game Boy Advance SP lock. We got the system red. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work, but he told me that. I was a little bit hard-headed. I thought I could get it to work, but if you hear that, for anybody that has Game Boy Advance SPs, I'm pretty sure that's the sound of something being disconnected. It powers on, barely has any charge, it powers on, but when you put a game in there, it doesn't even come close to reading it. I've tried cleaning these, I've tried cleaning the system and nothing you don't get the uh the little message underneath the game boy so i'm pretty sure the system i'm gonna have to sell as is well as not working for parts or whatever like the screen itself is mint mint condition outer shell has scratches they peeled off the sticker as people like to do i notice but came with two games neither of which i have uh, i don't know if i'll keep them just because I don't think I'll ever play them, but we got Dragon Ball Z, Boo's Fury, and Road to WrestleMania 18. So let me know what you were able to find on your weekend adventure. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real internet. I love you guys.